Okay, so I want you to think for a second. Okay, now stop thinking. And now whatever you thought of, just throw it out the window because it's a nothing compared to the game changer that is Microsoft's direct storage. Because that thing is gonna elevate PC gaming to new heights. Or at least, kind of. So what on earth is this? Just another technology that companies are trying to shove down our throats that really isn't gonna do much? Well, yes, and actually no. And I know that's a lot of conflicting statements, so let me clarify. So if you haven't noticed, and I really don't judge you if you didn't, because it kind of uh, slipped under the radar that one, a brand new console generation started recently. That's right, we're in the ninth generation. And one of the big advantages that both the key players couldn't stop talking about is the fact that their consoles are now only use SSDs. And not just any SSDs, PCIe SSDs, which will give even higher speeds. And to accommodate this new technology and to utilize it to its fullest potential, both on the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, Microsoft developed what's known as the Microsoft Direct Storage API, which is basically a new way for these consoles to utilize the PCIe SSDs and fully utilize all their potential instead of just using them as a slightly faster hard drive. And seeing how nowadays the Xbox is just an neutered x86 windows powered pc in a much more compact package naturally it didn't take microsoft too much effort to port it over to normal windows pcs so how on earth does it work and what kind of benefits will it actually result in so the way it currently works is that when the graphics card requests certain you know giant texture files or anything else a game could require to work it gets sent from your drive, be it a hard drive or an SSD, it gets taken to system memory where with the help of the CPU it then gets decompressed and sent off to VRAM, which really doesn't take full advantage of super fast modern SSDs. So the way direct storage works is that there is no CPU involved in the process whatsoever and instead the files are directly streamed and then decompressed by the GPU when needed. And seeing how the GPU is much more suited to working with game files, the decompression process is way more efficient and it makes sure that the files are there and ready when needed. If games take proper advantage of this technology now, we could see a complete disappearance of load times and we could even see increased performance from it. So you may be thinking, if it's so good, it's probably going to require some really high-end hardware like a Gen 4 NVMe SSD or a current generation graphics card, right? Well, actually no. And in fact, the system requirements for direct storage on Windows PCs are really reasonable and pretty much all of you watching are already going to tick these boxes off. Because all you need is a DirectX 12 compatible graphics card, which basically means any graphics card released in the past, what, five or so years now. And you also need an SSD that operates at at least Gen 3 speeds. And seeing how, again, most modern SSDs are at least Gen 3, then yeah, you'll be sorted and ready to go when direct storage finally and properly launches on Windows PCs. So let me know what you think of this technology coming soon to PCs and also if you enjoyed this video maybe check out my Patreon which is going to be linked down in the video description below because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping my channel and allows me to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I would also love to thank my patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs and Meg Sumner. Thank you guys so 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 much your support truly goes a long way. Down in the video description below, you also find our Amazon Associates links. So if you buy anything from Amazon using those links, we get some money and you don't pay anything extra, so it's a win-win. Plus down there's also our old customers affiliate link. Plus down there's also our Discord server, where we're hosting an awesome art contest right now, so you should check it out. And also social media links are down there as well, so go check all of it out. But anyway, that's what it's, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.